I'm just putting the camera back on. Just a little bit to add to the end. Just so that you know. You know, people are so worried. There's little pony. Just chilling there. Jack's been back over, did his little wander again, halfway across there. And uh, I call, call him, bang the ground, lifts his head, turns around, looks at me, and heads on back. And people are worried about, aren't you scared your snakes are going to get away or run away from you? And in actual fact, it's the absolute complete opposite of that. Um, especially Jack. Funny enough, especially Jack. Never, never goes too far away um, from me. He knows I'm here and he checks. And uh, he's quite happy to turn around and wander on back and, and make sure that I'm still still hanging here. As you can see, a pani. Yeah, she's little. She wants to stay protected um, at this point in her life. She knows she's very vulnerable. Whereas Jack just isn't um, that vulnerable. For me, it's a little bit worrying too. You know, my snakes are very used to humans, very used to dogs cats that they wouldn't flee from them um, just because they've had them around them for so long and know them to not be something that will actually do them any harm and rather than flee actually um, to some degree approach them and not we know that not all humans or dogs, Jack's son is coming up onto me, are friendly or be as friendly um, with them as what my animals are with them. So hence why, and <laughs> she's moved all the way down there, I've got, oh, yeah, I'm, I've got to keep my eye on her, sorry guys. I'm, I'm concentrating on Jack and I'm concentrating on her but it was a pony at the door really the one wanting to come out and not so much Jack but of course once Jack gets out he's happy to be out um, and I'm not going to ever pass up an opportunity to have them out and take them out um, when I can. I make the most of, of my day and the time that I can fit in um, with my snakes and uh, you know I see an opportunity to get them out and do something with them then that's exactly what I'm going to do because some days I'm really pressed for time with them and um, it, it, it does upset me. And I know that I spend a lot of time with them. Um, probably more time than a lot of people do. And people are sort of saying, oh, you know, you do spend a lot of time. But it is something that my snakes are very much... You're pulling the camera down, mate. Would you give mum a kiss? Did you? Where did you want to go? Hey, checking out what's behind me. I think it's all good behind there. It is. Yes, he's just checking out things behind me at the moment. Now, talk about, not only do they look after themselves when they're outside, but they very much look after you too and are as much on guard for themselves as they are to their human. I lay down here many times with Lily 
she's on me she's on my back she's periscoping she's checking everything out and she'll stay on my back for ages and just sit there right up as I said I wish I had somebody else with the camera in their hand for those for those moments that I can't capture um, to show you and they're very special moments actually that closeness and that bond that I feel you know even with Jack right now you know he is on me and he's making sure that everything is all okay and do you think that somebody would actually walk in and approach me with Jack laying on my lap I don't think they would to be put well especially those that don't know us um, a stranger you know coming through those gates and they this is what they see I think they do a double take and um, pretty much say is it is it safe um, to come in and <laughs> uh, yeah I don't see Jack um, hurting them but he might be a little bit wary of strangers coming in um, for sure and approaching me and be on guard and let them know hey I'm a great big snake you you mind yourself while you're around us thank you very much and that's the truth um, I've seen Lily do it and the guy standing in my driveway I was sitting over there watching him work on a car the whole time she was in the front and she was periscope and she was watching him every move he made so um, yeah and, and he wasn't going to come any closer to me either you know did I think that she was going to strike out and bite him I don't know I don't know would I approach somebody with a snake in front of them periscoping and looking straight at them no absolutely not so it's great to have a guard dog but I reckon it's even better to have guard snakes to be honest because a lot of people are more people are, are afraid of snakes than they are of a dog to be honest with you so um, for me absolutely um, have snakes hi darling are you just a little bit worried mum's gonna mum's gonna go in very soon Apani so um yeah like I said this is the first time I've had a Pani out and me not physically holding her so uh, for her this is very hang on a minute uh, um, uh, mum you're not holding me and instead she is um, using the cover of the blanket and I'm not letting those ants get anywhere near little Apani Sorry for the jerky camera, but uh, yeah. While I had the guys out, I was thinking, as I always do, always do. Uh, thought I'd just put that in. Be a separate video, of course. Jimmy talking about their enclosures and that you don't have them all don't have to have them all fancy dancy for your snake um, to take care of yourself and your family your friends your animals and of course your snakes and I don't know if Jack will keep going or if he will decide no I think I've, I've ventured far enough away I'm not sure now let's check a pony. She's cool. And uh, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna see if he'll he'll keep going. Or if he feels he's he has ventured far enough, but it's like going under the car, which looks cool and cozy and safe under there, but it's not really. It's really not and those tires would be so hot, Jack, that I don't want you touching anything like that over there, darling. Okay. So guys, it is. It's definitely chow time. And that's not going to eat. It's just um, time to head indoors and and get um, little... <gasps> Where are you going? Little Miss Apani back inside. Not so much Jack. He'd spend ages out here. We're not going to do that. I'm in Zoom. Always in Zoom. Ciao.